Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys what to sell to make some gill in patch 7.05. Before we continue with this video, if you guys want early access to my gill making guides and also a week early list of things to sell, consider becoming a YouTube member or Patreon supporter. The links for those will be in the description down below. So two disclaimers as always, make sure that you do your research on your server to see which items are worth selling. And number two, that this is common knowledge. Doesn't matter what expansion that we're in, everybody knows which items sell the best. So don't be surprised when your server is going to be undercutting you by a lot. Because everything basically bombed the day the patch released. Now let's get started. The list of these items will also be in the description down below. And these are all things that I have sold personally. So the first thing is going to be the Lar Needle. I believe this is for the Grand Company Turn-Ins. Eventually this will become obsolete when people are past the point where level 91 recipes don't pop up in the Grand Company. So as you can see here, the supply on my server is pretty low, but they are being bought out kind of decently, but they are sporadic, including myself because I had to readdress the prices. But don't rely on this too much. Next is the Chondrite Needle. Same thing with the Lar Needle. This is going to be for the Grand Company Turn-Ins. Now these are pretty expensive with low hits on my server, but people are buying them. Eventually they will become obsolete when they get up in levels for the Grand Company, but these have definitely fluctuated in price from 59,000 going back all the way up to 130. Next is the Pots. So the Gem Draft of Strength or anything besides Vitality will also sell. So strength, as you can see here, is mostly for Savage and Ultimate Raiders. This person right here did the smart thing in doing low amount, but I would probably would have done 2-3 to three hits instead of 5. This person did 99, which is no bueno, because people don't always want 99. So try not to do this. Otherwise, you're just going to get pushed down by other people who are selling lower amounts, which most likely will be more tantalizing to Raiders. Because the Savage tier was so quick, a lot of the times people won't buy what they don't really need. The sales history shows that they are selling, but the ones that are 99 aren't selling as much as the lower ones. So that's why I say go lower. And do not sell normal quality, because high quality are the ones that are used. So make sure that you always make them high quality. One sanctified water, half the starter quality, and these things are really easy to make. Next is the food. This has determination and critical hits, so mostly for melees. But I think a lot of DPS would use this as well. So they're going for almost 4,000 gil. These used to be like 10,000 day one, but they bombed horribly. So they're doing the smart thing, doing two to three hits. This person went a little overboard and did five, but they are low quantities. But for me, I would go with 10 because they last half an hour or an hour if you use two. So this person bought out a lot of the 99s, good because they were pretty cheap. But as you can see here, they do sell quite nicely. Wish they would go up a little higher, but maybe during the ultimate release they will go up. Next is the orange script item, the brown cardamom, which actually is used in making this and one other recipe. Now it takes one to make three of those foods, but selling 99 might not be a good idea. But if your sales history shows that people are, then I would go with that. But it's going to take a lot of scripts to get a lot of these items. So I would go with low amounts. Next is going to be the tombstone materials, which I believe it's 20 per item. So I like to do quantities of 10 with two hits. Do not do this just like before. Doing that is going to end up like this person. And if they don't undercut, then these will never sell. So... Two hits, quantities of 10 will do just fine. As you can see here, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Spread out your tombstones to the other materials. The yarn is next, same boat with the price. They definitely need to go higher than this. Stop devaluing your time and of course these prices of these items. Because the tombstone materials are a pain in the butt to get. Even with the hunt trains and your roulettes, it is still a grind. So try not to underappreciate these. Next is the leather skins. As you can see, they're 15,000. Again, low quantities, two hits, and they will fly off the shelves. 
Next is the varnish, which is used for the lumber. And do not, for the love of God, do this. No one is going to want 89 of this varnish. I'm sorry, that person did the worst thing you could possibly ever do, was waste all your tombstones on one item. And this person did the opposite, which is basically put too much. So two hits, low quantities, just like before, and they sell more than the higher quantities. Next is the Bright Coolant for Blacksmith and Armor for the Ingots. This is not bad, but I definitely would not put too many at one time. But those will probably will sell fast, but as you can see here, selling quite nicely with low amounts. And the last one is going to be for the Drafts, which is, I think, three per item. So selling these might not be a great idea, so try to do low quantities. As you can see here, people are buying them in higher amounts because a lot of pots being made, so... Maybe the opposite for this one. Put more than just 10. But that is going to be for the tombstone materials. Going back up the list, we have the Black Sea Cotton Balls and the Turali Alumen. This is for the cloth, this is for the leather. These are the ones that were the most expensive on my server, which are almost going for 1500 and the sales history shows that they are selling all day. Now, you need 4 per cloth, so either do stacks of 40 or stacks of 99. It's up to you. And the alumen, which is half the price. Same thing, you need 4 to make 1 leather. So 40 or 99, or go buy the sales history or your best judgment. But they do sell quite nicely. Next is going to be the myth brine, because fisher, and people don't really like fishing as much. But check the other sands as well, but I sold the myth brine the most. They went for 1200 piece, should be honestly a little higher, but as you can see they do sell. Now you only need one per recipe, so try not to do stacks of 99. They are used for feet pieces and I believe healer gear as well. Last but not least, your materia. I try to sell quantities of 5 and 10 per hit. So critical hit is going for 16k, try not to do too much because not too many people need this much materia. Even the first forbidden melt slot is a good, I think, 17% chance of melding. So try to stay low. Okay? Because not too many people are buying a lot of them. The hunt is the best way to do it if you're doing the hunt trains. We still have three instances, so it's best to do them while you have them. Next to termination, which is a little bit cheaper, around 15k. Same thing, low quantities. Unless otherwise. And direct hit, going for 17k, a little bit higher than crit. Low quantities again. Next, perception and gathering materia, grade 12. Almost 30k for gathering. Again, 5 to 10 per hit would be nice. Unless people are buying them in higher quantities. And then perception, 12. 30k. Same boat as everything else. Now, control, since we don't need too much craftsmanship, is going for around 50k. So try to stay low quantities, but not too much on here. Otherwise, you'll just drive the prices down with too much supply. But someone has been buying them all day, which is good. So that is going to be everything on my list to sell to make some gill. Obviously, you'll have your own, but try to add my list to yours to make more profit. Alright guys, so hopefully this has been helpful. Make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Fall Fantasy XIV content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy selling! And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Fall Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to support my channel even further, consider becoming a YouTube member, Patreon supporter, or help me on Ko-Fi. The links for those will be in the description down below, as well as my Discord. And your extra special shout out to the members on screen. So until next time, if you ever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead.